What new games are you looking to try and play? Well, I haven't been here. I'd, I think I'd like to play more straight ball. I'd right. like to get into that a little bit more. And um, I'll try the banks next year, I think. Give it right. a go. One pocket. Oh, I don't know. Just to maybe get in for the all round, maybe. Right. But I don't know if that's they do be my cup. Cu don't know if that's my cup of tea, really. Right. I don't know. But you did well in the straight ball this year. Yes, I did. I had fun. You know, and it was a, a challenge. I love a challenge, especially running balls like that. And it's really good for your focus. What was and your you know, it's 56. But we had Wait, 12, 12 attempts. But I do believe right. that was higher than Johnny Archer's high. So. Yeah, he was, he was 52 or something. <laughs> yeah, that's but it was, it was t I, mean, I think the conditions were tough, but I've only done it about five times in my life, so right. well, it's not bad, for, not bad for a beginner. That's great. Right. Right. I w probably <laughs> wasn't pretty, probably, you know, right. it wasn't a pretty run, it's not oh. like the great straight ball. Efren plays a lot of rotation in practice, Parika does that, mm -hmm. a lot of the top women players have played snooker, and John Schmidt, one of the best ghost ball runners Correct. from all the straight pool he's played, I think playing all these other games right. must really, really help your other games. Well, who was it? I was. I think it was Mason King uh, earlier. I was talking to, and he said that Nils swears by playing one pocket. He Ooh. just took that up recently, maybe a year. I don't know. For, trust me, he did. Yeah? When he first came he over said, here, he truly hated one pocket. That's what And I would said. go on the road with him, and we would try to get games and they don't have one pocket in, like that. in Holland. They really don't. They really don't play it, and he didn't oh. like it. And it was hard for us because when we would play nine playing. ball, yeah. people would say, "No, I don't want to play you nine ball, but we'll play you one pocket." And they'd offer him weight, and he just like. Nah, I don't want to play, wouldn't play, but it was funny because he likes to play chess a lot. Mm. And to me, one pocket is almost like playing chess on a right. pool table. So yeah. he basically just found a new love for one pocket. I know when he goes to tournaments, he'll gamble with effort as much as he can to try to right. learn and stuff like that. So mm -hmm. I expect him in the future to really dominate the game because now he's found a new love for the game of one yeah, pocket. He I likes it a lot great. better. I think it's good to keep your mind open. You know, like. You, could, you learn X amount, but I think you should always keep your mind open and to learning new things, you know, shots, whatever it is. And playing other disciplines has got to help you all around. Right. That's right. what makes the Filipinos, you know, class above, I think. Right. There you have it. Advice from Allison. Yeah, take <laughs> it all up. Just play it all. Just play it all. <laughs> Just play it all. And then you have any sponsors or anything like yes. that? Yes. What's going on? No, oh, I don't no. actually. Oh, oh no, I don't. I know you're a billboard she just over there. On that yeah, side. billboard. <laughs> yeah, Qtech Qs. I've I've been with Qtech for about 13 years, so we've had a very long relationship, wow. and it's been going great. And uh, the APA, American Pool Players Association, which is the largest amateur league in America, and I've been with them for about five years now. So it's been nice. it's been very nice. Yeah, I've been European. very lucky. Good player. And been very lucky with my sponsors. You know, it's nice to get the support because, you know, as you know, the industry is very difficult. I think. So. Yeah. Do the balls go in easier when you have sponsors? It helps. <laughs> it helps. <laughs> no, what it does is it helps keeps a roof over your head. You know, right. that helps. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so jealous. <laughs> oh, is, that, is it that bad? Uh, I just need an RV because oh, my right. home seems to move. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. No, I like roots. I like to settle, and that's it. Yeah. yeah. Oh, but speaking of roots. What other hobbies do you have besides playing uh, pool? Oh gosh, what happened? I do a lot of yoga now, so I do yoga probably a few times a week. Do you find that helps your game? It helps my back. <laughs> um, I think it's good all round spiritually. It's it's good for breathing, lots of different things. I do hot yoga, and it's an hour and a half class, and you sweat buckets, and so it's got to be good for you, yeah, right? Sounds like it. Sure. I think it's it's good because you're not hurting your muscles or anything. You're stretching everything, and right. uh, it's wonderful. Yeah. Especially as you get older. It's hard to get yeah. hurt knowing you're Exactly. <laughs> you're right. Well, I don't know, though. <laughs> it's possible. All right. Yeah. So, uh, once again, we'd like to appreciate the fact that you were on our show. Yeah. Thanks for Thanks giving for us some of your you. time. We wish Good you luck the best on the tour. Luck. Thank you very and much. And we you hope too. <laughs> Thank you. Appreciate we hope to that. see you next year playing in all the events and stuff like oh, that. Yes, I hope so too. So, thanks okay. again. Thank you. All right, everybody, once again, that was Allison Fisher. I'm Aaron Setley with Rachel LeBink. This was the Inside Pool Extreme Press Box, and we'll be back later on with finally the winner of the Derby City Classic Nine Ball and the All Around Champion. Simona's Cloth, authentic, accurate, always.